Uh, my beloved sister Narho, my bless you. Today it is uh, um, 12th of uh, November 2023. Uh, today is Deepavali actually. But uh, it is the first Deepavali in which I did not even fire even a single cracker to have to show my solidarity with the Palestinians. They are also against the firing of uh, chemicals. So this uh, warfare between uh, Israel and Hamas has uh, turned into Israel's attack on Palestine and the invasion and uh, um, encroachment of uh, Israel of Palestine soil. This is what I understand from the latest past 37 days of war between uh, Israel and Hamas. However, uh, there is a very good uh, development just now, just uh, two hours back uh, it has been uploaded by BBC. That news uh, came to my eyes uh, just now, I have seen through the BBC YouTube channel that yesterday, Saturday, uh, <clears throat> 22 countries of uh, uh, Arab League and uh, uh, around 57 countries of uh, other Islamic countries together around 59 uh, sorry 79 countries Arabic and Islamic countries have um, made a conference at uh, uh, Saudi Arabia in Saudi Arabia they have met uh, under the chairmanship of the Prince of uh, Saudi Arabia uh, it's, uh, very very fantastic move all the islamic countries i hope have joined hands in that particular conclave in that uh, conclave they have resolved certain things uh, uh, that they are against it uh, war and uh, they want uh, israel to immediately uh, <coughs> execute ceasefire and all <coughs> uh, and uh, they want uh, america to give uh, pressure on israel to stop the war these things uh, <coughs> Uh, main uh, speakers, uh, I found that uh, uh, West Bank uh, or Palestinian Authority, um, the President of Palestine and uh, Iranian President uh, and um, Turkey leader. These uh, leaders have spoken very uh, uh, critical things. Uh, Indonesian uh, Premier also had been there, being a country with the uh, highest population of uh, Muslims. So in that uh, conclave, uh, I found that uh, it's a very pleasant thing that uh, this much of uh, Islamic leaders, 79 country leaders have uh, joined hands together in Saudi Arabia where their headquarters Mecca and Medina are there in that particular <coughs> landmass they have joined and they have talked something for the suffering uh, Palestinians that is a most most uh, uh, very uh, 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 pleasant and very welcome uh, move by the leaders of uh, Islamic and Arabic countries <coughs> I congratulate them for their solidarity and uh, Unity at this very critical time for their own brethren, our own brethren, Palestinians. <clears throat> but at the same time, I feel very sorry that they have not made any strong or concrete resolution in that meeting. I, I do not understand how these Islamic brethren, these Arabic friends have not resolved to Stop the warfare by means of warfare against Israel. If I, I had, if I had been a leader of any Islamic country and I have attended that uh, uh, meeting, I would have first given this resolution for voting. Let us all unite together and attack Israel so that it stops it uh, uh, war against Palestine. This would be the exact reaction, no? that nobody has uh, talked there. It's a very pathetic thing. This much, of, uh, this much uh, diplomacy is unwelcome at this uh, juncture when the 
Eleven thousand Palestinians, their own brethren, Islamic believers, are killed. It's an ethnic killing by Jews. Jews have killed Palestinians. This is what I construe. Or that thing, sir. You can see it from the other view. Jews have killed Islamists. You can take it in that way also. There is always a clash in uh, Jerusalem between Jews. Uh, and the islamists yesterday i have seen in a video that there was a, from the east jerusalem there was a clash between uh, other people muslims have started uh, uh, struggling with uh, jews in the other side so it is a war between this uh, religious war between uh, uh, jews and uh, islamists this is what i understand this is what i perceive then why these islamic countries though they have joined together they have not uh, resolved to do something physically against israel while they are physically attacking their brethren stating that hamas has physically attacked them this is a chain reaction no they claim that uh, since as hamas uh, hamas has attacked them they in turn retaliate in that retaliation they are unnecessarily killing the palestinians the brethren of these 74 79 countries then why should not they attack in turn israel in the same way what israel is doing to palestinians in the name of killing hamas jihadis this is my suggestion so i request all the islamic leaders arab country leaders those who have joined hands yesterday in saudi arabia over the internet or in some other uh, uh, telephonic conversation or like that net calling like that make a conference on second make a conference call resolve for this bring about a ceasefire in the war torn israel palestine gaza area by means of surrounding israel with islamic forces surround move all your forces around israel what israel has done to gaza that you do to israel this is my suggestion if you do that let us see what america does instead of asking america to uh, pressurize uh, uh, israel to go for a ceasefire you pressurize israel to go for a ceasefire by yourself why do you request america why do you bring america inside american ambassador is always moving here and there and he is asking for ceasefire even he has met the uh, uh, israeli premier benjamin netanyahu he has uh, demanded for a ceasefire but it is not happening then why do you ask once again america to intervene you 79 countries are there you have your own militia move them move them around israel and circle israel give a threat first to israel to stop the war if they don't stop you make a war with israel as what israel did to gaza you do to israel shoom